Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question, find the town judge. Okay, so let me explain with this example, n equals 3. So uh, there are two conditions. So first condition is uh, town judge trusts nobody. And the uh, second condition is uh, everybody except town judge trusts the town judge. So um, I think uh, it's a good idea to count trusted um, number for each person. And uh, I initialized the trusted list and the uh, length is n plus 1 because uh, um, people labeled from 1 to n, so we use uh, index 1, index 2, index 3, so that's why we need uh, n plus 1. So let's count the uh, trusted number. So that means index 1 in each element. So we have 3, so that's why plus 1, 2, 3, and uh, again we find a 3, so that's why 2, and we find 1, so 1. So condition two said uh, everybody except town judge trust the town judge. So um, one of people is uh, town judge. So that means if somebody get two trust, so that is the answer, right? So in this case, person three has two trust. So that's why we should return as three in this case. But uh, that is that is wrong, right? Because uh, we have condition one. So town judge trust nobody, right? But uh, look at the uh, third element. So person three trust person one. So that means even if person three has two trust, so person three trust uh, person one. So uh, we don't need uh, condition one, right? So that's why in this case we should return minus one. So how can we avoid this problem? I think uh, there are several ways to avoid this problem. But uh, simply um, when we iterate through all elements one by one, so we added like a trusted number, right? So that's why um, in, if we find a, a, a trusting number, so in the case, uh, we add minus one to uh, trusted. So because uh, um, a town judge uh, trusted nobody, right? And uh, condition two said everyone except town judge trusts the town judge, right? So that's why um, even if we add minus one to uh, trusted list, so if somebody is a town judge, so in the end, so he has um, n minus one trust, right? So that's why uh, we can uh, know uh, he is uh, like a town judge or not. So um, let me reset the trusted um, list. So zero, 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 zero. And then uh, first of all, uh, we find uh, one as a trusting people. So that's why add minus one to one and uh, trusted people is three, so one. And then trusting is two. So that's why minus one and uh, trusted people is three, so two. And then our trusting people is three. So we have two, but uh, minus one, so not one. And then uh, trusted people is one, so zero. And then all we have to do is uh, try to find the uh, n minus one trust, but uh, zero, zero, minus one, one. So nobody has two, right? That's why uh, we should return minus one in this case. So let me check the case where we can find the uh, uh, town judge. So let me delete this element and the n is still three. So reset trusted list. So zero, 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 zero. And uh, so let's iterate through one by one. So trusting person is one, so minus one. And uh, trusted person is three, so one. And then move next. Trusting person is two, minus one. And the trusting person, uh, no, trusted person is three, so two, right? And then um, check uh, if somebody has n minus one, so that is two. So person three has two trust, right? So that's why we should return uh, three in this case. Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a trusted and initialize with all zero and the length should be um, n plus one, right? And then start iteration. So for A and B in trust, and uh, so trusted A should be minus one, and uh, trusted 
b should be plus one and then um, let's uh, find the uh, town judge so for i in uh, range so uh, people labeled from one to n so that's why one to n plus one and uh, if trusted i equal n minus one so in the case so he is a, a town judge so return index number so if we don't find uh, uh, somebody so we should return minus one yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of t plus n where t is a number of trust relationship here and n is a number of people here so that's why uh, order of t plus n and the space complexity is order of n for trusted list right n plus one yeah so that's all i have for you today so please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button i'll see you in the next question